I wanted to see how the products were made. So seeing the actual fabrication is important because then you get a better understanding of the material and then eventually how to use it. Uh, right now, things are generally uh, directed towards economics. Um, so we need to be very conscious of how much things cost and to get good value out of them. There's also the requirement of sustainability, which means that the products need to last for a long time. So durability is important in evaluating a product. We always have salespeople into the office regularly. Um, they come in and talk with us, show us their materials. That gives us the opportunity when we need to talk to them to be able to call them for something special. So it's much better to know them first and not have to call them cold on something. So it's good to develop relationships with certain salespeople. Um, authenticity in the materials. They need to look real. Part of the problem these days is everything is getting this thick. So it's as if it's like paper. So we, we look for things that you like to touch, things that uh, have texture and special qualities about them. Uh, usually these are not the thinnest products, usually they're much thicker. So we look for materials and uh, the variety in them and uh, things that can bring life to a building. Um, generally, uh, the time we live in is an era when I think people are afraid of color. And most architects are more afraid of color than other people. So most of the colors are neutral. So I was uh, very pleased to hear Gabriel talk about color the other day. Oggi dobbiamo recuperare questa sensazione gioiosa del colore. Voi avete visto quando siete arrivati, i nostri uffici sono realizzati di un materiale speciale, il rivestimento, è acciaio, qualcuno pensa sia vetro, è acciaio elettrocolorato, cangiante, dove il colore è l'elemento fondamentale ed esprime un po' la nostra gioiosità la nostra volontà, pur facendo un prodotto estremamente tecnico, innovativo, ma che rimanga anche leggermente ludico, perché vogliamo che la persona che vive nell'ambiente possa essere gioiosa e felice. E quindi il colore è uno degli elementi che dobbiamo recuperare, e di fatto mostra, ho dato ordine di cambiare delle cucine per inserire il colore. I think color is incredibly important. If you look at, as I did yesterday, if, if you look at the Veronese painting, House at the, uh, Feast at the House of Levi, there is no white. There is no black. It's all color. And it's how we put that together that makes something wonderful. So I think that um, much too often color is missing. So I'm always looking for what is the color of something, and how can you exploit that? It's very exacting. It tries for perfection. It's well executed. And you don't see all the effort that's gone into making it that way. It's invisible. You don't know how many hours have gone into the thinking and the labor to get it look incredibly straightforward. It's interesting to see a, a, a company involved in uh, ceramics integrating other things with it electronics. So we heard about the tabletop that can light up, cook your dinner on it. 
I was hoping it might wash my dishes. You know, it's, got, it's gone to extremes. So there's a sense of exploration here that I'm not sure you see everywhere. So that's very exciting. Um, the, the things that we saw uh, two days ago uh, were also important because there's someone trying to integrate a lot of different things together. A refrigerator, a cooktop, a whole kitchen, make the whole thing easily accessible and provide it as a unit. So the integration of many things, uh, that's not so much the case in America. It's still single lines of products, not integrated and put together with three or four other components and then provided. So that, that's been very interesting.